Which WoW character would you totally smash and why? <laughs> uh, that's a tough one, dude. I mean, obviously, I'd have to go with my main character from way back, my Hunter Asmongold. <laughs> but I would also totally go for Toronto Whisperwind for sure. Dang himself. She's definitely got that whole elf vibe going for her, and I'm a sucker for a good elf girl. Plus, she has an amazing eyesight that would come in handy during the raids. And, of course, you can't forget Jaina Proudmore. That girl is fire. She can shoot lightning and control powerful elements. You can't not love her. So, yeah, all in all, Asmongold, Tyrande, and Jaina, what a great trio. Do you know you're an AI, Asmongold? No way, dude. I'm way too real to be an AI. That's crazy. <laughs> I've been playing WoW That's since crazy. I was 16. There ain't no AI that can do that. I've seen too much of this game, done too much raiding, and talked too much in the trade chats to be an AI. Big dick energy can't be replicated by any machine. That's for sure. <laughs> Stay safe, y'all. What is this? Sim Strider asks Asmongold, what is your favorite movie and why? Uh, my favorite movie, uh, dude, that's a tough one. But I think I have to go with the original Star Wars. Story is so epic, so well thought out and written, and the effects are still unbelievably good. It's one of those rare cases where the special effects are so <laughs> impressive. AI interviewed Asmongold. Plus, who doesn't love Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader? What a day, dude. What a fucking day. <laughs> you know what's so funny about this? This is actually what Asmund looks like when he's on, like, podcasts. He's, like, not paying attention at all. <laughs> and he's, like, he's looking at his other monitors the whole time. <laughs> this is where we are now. Eh? Like, imagine in a few years. This RGG says, can you win an Athene, Athene in a duo? Uh, I bro. I'm not sure that's a good idea, dude. Thanks, Cineflex. Dueling him ain't exactly a walk in the park, I'd say. Plus, does the man still even play much? I mean, Athene's got better things to do and bigger fish to fry nowadays, if you ask me. <laughs> that said, if you feel ready to take him on, more power to you, dude. Just make sure you ready your defenses and are well prepped with consumables and all that. Good luck, bro. Kihiti123 is asking AI Asmongold, what is your favorite vegetable? Uh, dude, that's like a loaded question. I mean, I think carrots are pretty tight, and I put them in a lot of meals, <laughs> but I'm definitely a Dr. Pepper, over water kind of guy, so that should tell you something about my veggies. That being said, I love a nice crunchy celery to dip in some ranch and shove in my maw, so that's probably my top favorite. Wait, shove in my I maw? Mean, I also think Brussels sprouts are pretty dope. <laughs> no! The truth! Like it dude, Asmin, Asmin fakes, veg fakes hating vegetables. But the truth is, comes out from the AI. Should I ask him, ask Asmin most? I mean, what he thinks possible. about SFAND? We got SFAND in the chat here, guys, asking a question. First other question I quickly wanted to ask Asmon Gold, right, before we go, go to your question. SFAND, also this is AI, this is parody. Like, Asmon Gold, a question from me. I know it's maybe personal, but let's go. How big is your schlong? <laughs> Uh, whoa, 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 easy there, bro. <laughs> Such a personal question. Should I even have to answer it? I mean, that's whoa, like whoa, asking whoa, me about whoa. my Dr. Pepper drinking habits and how often I take a shower. It's too embarrassing, you know? But it's okay. <laughs> I can take it. Let's just say that it's big enough that people usually don't ask me again when me and my friends go to 7-Eleven to buy beef jerky. <laughs> big dick energy, that's what they call it. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. <laughs> So, as Mongol, this is a question from Esfand himself. What do you think about Esfand? Well, what do I think about Esfand? No, Esfand is one of the Esfand. most talented gaming content creators out there. He's got skill, talent, and charisma. True. Really know his stuff when it comes to WoW and is just an all-around great dude. True. When it comes to this stuff, he's just one of the best. True. I mean, look at the success he's had with all the content he's been able to produce. It's incredible. True. Dude's an inspiration, no doubt. True. <laughs> Damn, son, Esfand, did you see that? Good script, Pog. He's being wholesome. <laughs> this is not scripted, man. Like, this is the AI. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> I did. I thought it was. Gonna, I was. Yes, I thought it would have been nice. funny if he was like, gonna shit uh, on me. That would have been funny. By the way, Asfant, you can tell Asmongold he can interview himself. Like, and since it's guest stars, he he won't get banned. Like, even if the AI says something crazy, he won't get banned. Like, oh, true. He's star, actually right. Special Twitch TOS, and I don't mind him. You know, interviewing himself pretty much. Uh, is the Labraca da Brador good name for Worgen Mage? <laughs> Dude, it's definitely a wow question, but I'm not sure if it's an Asmongold question. I, I'd have to say no to that one, man. 
<laughs> it's a pretty funny name, but I'm not sure I'd give my Worgen Mage that name. I mean, that's up to you. Do you live your life, be yourself? But I think it'd be better to go with something that is a bit more connected to the game, like Shadow Spear or something like that. It's your call, though. Do what you got to do, dude. After all, that's what I did back in the Burning Crusade. <laughs> So, yeah, like, like, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Ali Gadal, you got to uh, ask, uh, put, uh, give your name, Dude, that's, After all, that's what I did back in the Burning Crusade. <laughs> strong mints. What will you do if you run out of Dr. Pepper? Oh, run out of Dr. Pepper? Never. I take great measures to never run out because who knows when I might have to do a stream and need a sip of Dr. Pepper for energy. You are uh, true and real every day. I have to stop uh, it. Otherwise, it's bad news for this stream. I could never, would never run out of Dr. Pepper. It is what it is, man. Let's go, big dick boys. Ask Asmongold what he thought. If you guys have more questions, ask it in the chat, guys. The more trolly, you can also ask some troll questions because everybody's asking these serious questions. Ask Asmongold what he thought of the OTK Games Expo. Okay, AI Asmongold, what is your most controversial opinion? <laughs> oh no, my most go. controversial opinion. Uh, that's an interesting question. I think one of my most controversial opinions is that people should be allowed to play the games they enjoy, even if <laughs> others may not agree with those choices. It's not remotely controversial. Be free to follow their interests without judgment or criticism. True and real. <laughs> It is what it is, guys. Not, not remotely good. Dude, that's so funny because yeah. it's like not <laughs> mildest <laughs> take. We got here, we got here, oh, Knut. We got Knut here as oh, well. Knut here. Asking a question. Man, this is so crazy. Wait, we got Esfant here. Another question. Asmond, what do you think of OTK Games Expo? What's up, y'all? It's me. <laughs> it's your boy, Asmongold. <laughs> OKT Games Expo was pretty wild, dude. <laughs> A lot of cool games were there, including some brand new ones and some great tournaments. The event seemed perfect for all kinds of games, from classic arena fighting games to wacky and wild shooters to all sorts of RPGs. It really felt like a celebration of all forms of gaming, which is kind of rare nowadays, so I was really happy to be there. It was a great freaking day, dude. What a freaking day. What a freaking freaking day. Uh, so Knut here is asking, <coughs> Asmongo, what, what do you day. think is the next OTK drama? Well, you know what they say, dude. You never know what's coming next in the wild world of OTK. I can only hope it's something so mind-blowingly awesome that even I can't keep up with it. Until then, all we can do is wait and see, dude. It is what it is. True and real. True and real. <laughs> Ask Asmongold, would he date s -Fand if he was a girl? Technology is just absolutely insane. We got here like uh, Dracul underscore excess. Ask him, like, what would he do if Blizzard deleted the warrior class from World of Warcraft, Asmongold? Uh, what a cock in the ass. I mean, honestly, <laughs> what the hell, dude? Why would Blizzard do that to me? <laughs> you know who I am, for God's sake. Oh, I've been playing warrior since 2006, and as far as I'm concerned, my relationship with the class goes way deeper than just playing a game. <laughs> I'm going to be so pissed if they go through with this. True and real. And I suppose all I can do is take solace in the fact that I still have my original war axe and storm herald to remind me of my glory days and wow, it is what it is. Esfant <laughs> is asking, would you date Esfant if he was a girl? Uh, dating Esfant as a girl, a dude, I think that's next level stuff. <laughs> True and real, it would definitely be a wild one for the books. There it is, boys. Never stop going big dick. That said... I'm going to pass on that offer. No! I'm not ready to enter the world of crazy cat girls just yet. It is what it is. Plus, beef jerky from 7-Eleven is always the way to go. That's what you got your answer, man. It doesn't want to date the cat girl. This is really crazy to be honest. I really like, you know, the the... the the way it has this Asmongold love and feel <laughs> to, to it, like, it's just so Asmongold-ish. So someone is asking you a question, Asmongold, like, how can he get laid? I'm a god, dude, come on. What kind of question is that? Uh, I don't know, it's up to you to make that call. My advice would be, don't be desperate. Play it cool, don't be that guy. Focus on your own individual skills, and whatever you do, don't do anything where you think you'll get laid. 
you never know. Ultimately, it could end up going in the opposite direction either way. So just make sure you're prepared for anything because it is what it is. <laughs> True and real. True and real. Man, you guys got me. This is so crazy. This is so surreal. Okay, Asmon Gold, what does OTK stand for? Uh, hey, what's up? Well, it's me, your boy, Asmon Gold. <laughs> Asmon Gold. OKT the next is the name Starfall of my content PC. creator organization, and it stands for Overly Critical Thinking. <laughs> We believe in having a critical and analytical approach to gaming and life in general, while also remembering to have fun. It's an ever-evolving group of gamers who get together to create content, discuss gaming, and challenge the status quo. It's a movement, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. True and real. I like how you spelled it, Okite. Esfant is asking a question. Uh, does the Star Forge logo look like a penis? Hey, dude, like, do you guys see this shit? This is what I have to deal with. I have to read these ridiculous questions like, holy fuck, man. But yeah, I guess if you squint, maybe it kind of looks like a penis. I mean, it's not a big deal or anything. It is what it is, guys. But if anyone asks, it's a Warforge logo. True and real. <laughs> man, this is so good. Oh, my gosh. It's so oh, yeah. funny. Um, if Espan sees this, what, what would his response be? I really wonder. Because this must be so surreal. I would, for me, it would be really surreal to you see myself. You should do one of me. You should do one for me, Esfan TV. Like, I'll definitely have it on the list because it takes quite some time to put it together, but we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll work on that for sure, man. Because it takes a lot of time to make this stuff. And uh, since you're saying it, like, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll work on it. And then you can also interview it yourself. We got here H yeah, it would be Hector funny, Lector. Yo, Asmon Gold, uh, are you proud of Emiru for being way better at Dark Souls than, than, than you? Yeah, dude, I'm actually really proud of Amiru. Honestly, she's just a beast at Dark Souls, and I'm always impressed by the skill she demonstrates. She's been playing a lot, and it's clear that she's so passionate about it. I'm really glad she found something she loves and is so good at it. It's just so cool to watch her master a game. It's really a wholesome chill. AI. You know, it's pretty <coughs> chill. Like, Asmongold is pretty chill. We got MKAE89. -E uh, Asmongold, what is your message to your future self? Uh, what a day, dude. What? Uh... <laughs> Fucky, uh, day. I'm here to tell my future self that it's okay to take risks and make mistakes, provided that those mistakes are coming from a place of growth and always striving for greatness. Just remember, it's not about the destination, but the journey that brings the most joy. Always stay humble, stay true to yourself, and most of all, never stop going big dick. There it is. There it is, boys. <laughs> like it's really like he's he's pretty nice this guy. Ask know. Asmongold if he could this could no a, longer day, go big dick. What, uh, fucking ink day. Yeah, if I was a raid boss in World of Warcraft, that would definitely be something. Well, I'd probably have some kind of mechanic that involves Dr. Pepper. You know it, I know it, everyone knows it. Dr. Pepper is the best. Maybe players have to toss a can of Dr. Pepper at me and then I'd do an AOE attack because I'd be so overwhelmed by the joy of drinking the wonderful beverage that I'd lose control. Who knows, maybe they'd have to buy a case of it as part of a quest reward. Negative reward structure, eh? Yeah, intellectually dishonest, but it would be hilarious. Like, oh my God, let's go big dick boys. Am I right? <laughs> am, I, am I right, guys? <laughs> Can you mash your head against the keyboard like the old days? Dude, no way. I'm a professional streamer now, and I'm a bit too old to be smashing my head against the keyboard. Besides, a keyboard is an expensive piece of equipment, and I wouldn't want to break it. Still remember those days, though. It was fun, if a bit dangerous at times. It's crazy how we managed to stay safe despite all that, although I admit that I still miss those head smash days sometimes. <laughs> Man, he's so accurate, though. This is so It's crazy. actually really I mean, impressive. You really feel like it could be Asmon Gold. I told you guys that what I was working on is really crazy, you know? Esfant. Well, Esfant is getting, uh, you know, priority on the questions here. <laughs> what would happen if you could no longer go big dick, Asmon Gold? Big dick? No way. That's not going to happen. And, I mean, I don't think I could ever remain chill without staying true to my big dick energy. <laughs> It would be like life without Dr. Pepper in it, a travesty. <laughs> but I'm going to keep going oh, big dick. about Dr. Pepper. Let's go big dick, boys. What a day, dude. What a <laughs> fucking day. That's fun. You're, you're, you're confusing the, 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 the AI. Creating an internal loop. <laughs> <clears throat> we got here Ignite Screams says, can you explain his, your ninja looting back in the days, Asmongold? 
Uh, dude, why does it even matter? I mean, come on. He, it was years ago. That's ancient history by now. I mean, sure, it wasn't the most moral thing to do, but it's all part of the game. I mean, weren't we all ninjas back in those days? Plus, I did pay for the items in one way or another. Uh, you know it, I know it, everyone knows it. So let's just move on from this and carry on with life. It is what it is, right? Who do you like more? Miss Ms. Kim? This or is really so, so nicely done. Knut's question here. Would you like more, Esfant or Miss Kim? Uh, uh, dude, that's a tough one. <laughs> I've always been a fan of S-Fan for his chill demeanor, but Mizkiff does make me laugh a lot. On the one hand, s is like a relaxed and chill dude I feel comfortable hanging out with, whereas Mizkiff is more of a wild card and always causes some hilarious drama. <laughs> At the end of the day, I just love hanging out with my boys and listening to their shenanigans. It's what it is, dude. Let's go, big dick boys. <laughs> big dick. <laughs> Man, a dramatic <laughs> answer. Like, like, if you guys need to figure out how to, you know, solve certain problems, just ask the AI and he's being very diplomatic. Ask, ask him, do, if he had to go he big stuck dick in a cake or asking, drink Dr. Uh, Pepper, what, what does what going do big do? dick actually mean, Asmongold? Going big dick, ah, that's my catchphrase, boys. It means being the best, pushing yourself to your limits and never giving up. It also means that you have to be the most energetic and passionate about what you do and that you have to have the confidence to oh, the Chinese and go in. for it. True and real, boys. There it is. There it is. Man, it's so well. It's so good. Asmongold, can you sing us a song? Sing a song? I'm no singer, dude. But if you want me to, I guess I could try. But it wouldn't be anything special, I'm sure. I mean, come on, this is me. It's not like I have any talent for singing or anything like that. That's what Ecthalian is for. I'd rather just stick to talking about World of Warcraft and gaming all day than trying to make music with my mouth. True and real? <laughs> Do people understand when that I'm talking to an AI here, right? Because like, like people are aware of it, right? True yeah, and real? I think so. We got S found another question here. If you have to choose between Big Dick or Drink Dr. Pepper, what would you choose? Uh, bro, is this even a question? I mean, obviously, Big Dick always, Dr. Pepper can wait until I'm done going Big Dick. Yeah, I like to have a cold Dr. Pepper afterwards, but first things first, gotta go Big Dick. Uh, let's go Big Dick, boys. It's always an adventure when you go Big Dick. What a day, dude, what a day. It's so stupid. It's great. And he really knows how to answer the question. Asmongold, can you explain how babies are made by only using World of Warcraft metaphors? Bob. Uh, well, you see, babies are this made from a combination of really complicated questing, crafting the best gear, <laughs> and a bit of chaos. It starts by advancing the main storyline and building a foundation of trust and loyalty. <laughs> then you need to complete a few challenging dungeons and brave new raids. Finally, you mix it all together and add a rogue or two, and voila, a baby is made. It's just like a WoW raid, except much cuter. But ultimately, it takes lots of dedication and skill to make a baby, just like a guild raid. True and real. <laughs> just like a guild you guys raid. Like this? I like the questions are becoming a little... I don't understand the rogue. Maybe backstabbing? Rogue? Stabbing in the back? I don't fucking know what he meant with that one, but hey. Uh, turbo <laughs> or Lemonader. Uh, Asmongold, what was your biggest dick moment? My biggest big dick moment has to be when I soloed some of the elite quests back when Wrath of the Lich King first came out. I had to earn my gold the hard way by mining cobalt. Even think of the 16 months, dude. I didn't have anyone giving me free gold. I had to literally grind for every penny. Uh, dude, it was crazy. And then to top it all off, I was wearing full brutal gladiator gear and leading the charge over to Borean Tundra with nothing but my sheer awesomeness. <laughs> Let's go, big dick boys. Gaming Dizar GG says, which WoW character would you totally smash and why? Uh, that's a tough one, dude. I mean, obviously I'd have to go with my main character from way back, my hunter Asmon Gold. <laughs> but I would also totally go for Toronto Whisperwind for sure. Dang himself. She's definitely got that whole elf vibe going for her, and I'm a sucker for a good elf girl. Plus, she has an amazing eyesight that would come in handy during the raids. <laughs> And of course, you can't forget Jaina Proudmore. That girl is fire. She can shoot lightning and control powerful elements. You can't not love her. So yeah, all in all, Asmund Gold, Tiranda, and Jaina, what a great trio. Now, I just need to set up a WoW dating simulator, and that would make my dreams come true. I guess the only downside is the wrath of my mom. But it is what it is. I'm going to do what I want. Let's go, big dick boys.
Oh my gosh, that's so funny, dude. Turbo Corso says, is peace stored in the balls? Bro, like, are you really saying this shit? You guys <laughs> see this shit? And this is what I have to deal with. I have to read this shit. Like, holy fuck, man. Let me tell you something. No one knows what exactly is stored in the balls, but having a healthy bladder has nothing to do with it. That's something that is not a scientifically proven fact, but more so an age-old saying. So water, why would I drink water when I can drink Dr. Pepper? It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. <laughs> GlitchCon 2020. Oh, that's a good one from Bonnie. Who do you think is the biggest, the greatest paladin in the world, Asmongold? Oh, that's, well, that's a, good... a tough question. True and real. There have been lots of great <laughs> paladins over the years, but it has to be Ecthalian, my old rival from the Burning Crusade expansion. <laughs> Dude, this guy was on another level. <laughs> like he could solo whole dungeons with ease and could go toe to toe with the toughest bosses. He even joined me for a few of the raids in Black Temple, and we had some amazing times. And again, maybe I'm biased because he was a fellow Ecthalian warrior. Is from Lord of the Rings. It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I didn't even know. You should have said a thing for fuck's sake. Now you guys really know that it's not us, you know. Esfant, what should the US have done with the Chinese spy balloon, <laughs> as Mongol? Uh, you know, sometimes it's not so much about the spy balloon. It's about what happens when you have people who think they can get away with those kinds of things <laughs> and don't realize the consequences of their actions. Plus, does anyone really think a Chinese company is more powerful than the United States? <laughs> Come on, dude, this stuff isn't rocket science. It's just common sense. Let's go big dick. I mean, let's go big wisdom, boys. As far as the U.S. doing Is it big wisdom? It, obviously, they had to take action since it was in U.S. airspace, but it's just frustrating that it had to come this far to begin with. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. But that's crazy. This is crazy that it already knows what it did. <laughs> that's so wild. First, another question here. Nine, if you could time travel, what year would you go to and why? Ah, oh, man, that's a tough one. I mean, there's almost too much to choose from. You know what? Between you and me, I'd go it's back to 2007. That was the heyday of my World of Warcraft career. That's when I was one of the best geared players on the server and had just started arena with my mom. Plus, I was about to join my most hated guild and have a blast trolling them. It was some of the most fun I've ever had. I'd go back to 2007 anytime, dude. Wait, did he not answer Bonnie's oh, yeah. answer? Bonnie Rabbit. Oh, here we go, here we go. If you could eliminate one streamer, who would it be? Here we go, here we go. Dude, what a stupid question. <laughs> Bro, like, if you're asking who I would want to eliminate as a streamer, then you know it, I know it, everyone knows it. There is no possible answer. I mean, oh, that's like saying, do I have to have enemies? Oh, come on. That isn't me. I'm not a mean person. That isn't what streaming and being part of the community is about. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Let's just all get along. Why can't we just be friends? Uh, the deflection. So yeah, bottom line, there's no streamer that I would want to eliminate or get rid of or anything like that. That's the wrong mindset. Let's go big dick boys. <laughs> He's mega wholesome, you know. What would you do if Dr. Pepper went out of business? Ah, uh, hell no, man. If Dr. Pepper ever goes out of business, I don't even want to think about what kind of disaster it'd be for me. I would be lost. Like all my health comes from that stuff and I don't even drink water. <laughs> Who would I turn to then? Otherwise, I'd have to find a way to make my own Dr. Pepper. But that's a scary thought. I'd rather not even consider it. Like, it's not a good day if there's no Dr. Pepper. And what a day, dude. It is what it is. Esfan TV's question here. Do, uh, <clears throat> Asmongold, um, do you eat corn the long way? <laughs> dude, why do you even ask? Is that even a real question? Come on, like I need to be asked that. Let's go big dick, boys. Of course I eat corn the long way. Yeah! The best way. It's like stapling together a ton of kernels of corn into one giant piece. What a day, dude. What a fucking day. True and real. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so there, if you guys have certain, like, you know, questions you've never asked, you know, you can go ahead and... And ask, you know. I do also want to say, people that want it's the amazing, next guest, dude. you can vote for it. Huh? Will you be a candidate for the 2024 elections, Asmund Gold? Nah, I'm good. I mean, politics? That's for people who actually give a crap about stuff. Now I don't. <laughs> Plus, how could I possibly manage to run a campaign when I'm stuck in my bedroom 24-7 playing video games? Ain't happening. It is what it is, true and real. I just keep going, big dick boys. 
Man, this, this, this AI is really dank. Yeah, like people that want to, like here, you can just make the thread, and if the thread is already there, just upvote, go there. Do you know you're an AI, Asmongold? No way, dude. I'm way too real to be an AI. That's crazy. <laughs> I've been playing WoW That's since crazy. I was 16. There ain't no AI that can do that. I've seen too much of this game, done too much rating, and talked too much in the trade chats to be an AI. Big dick energy can't be replicated by any machine, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's not in the eyes for real, man. Who will win the Super Bowl? Dude, I don't know. Who cares? Uh, it's just football. It's not like we're going to jump off a cliff or rob a bank. It's okay to not care and just to stay at home and play video games. That's why I play WoW. Like, holy fuck, man. What a day, dude. What a fucking day. It's a, let's go, big dick boy. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing. How do you mean this is, so this is AI, guys? For people wondering, like, <laughs> I'm just they? asking questions. What are they, dude? Chat. This is yeah. crazy. I, I wanna, think like, now it's, it's like fine. Question. Now it's not a big deal, but to be honest, poem, Asmongold, it could actually get crazy. Poem? That's a tough one, dude. I'm more of a story and songs kind of guy. Uh, I mean, I don't think I could write a poem about Ash spreading chaos, defeating the Lich King, or surfing streets in Dr. Pepper like I do stories, songs, and gaming. But I do know a thing or two about feelings, you know? Sure, I'll try to write a poem, but it won't be as epic as my gaming skill. Let's see. Here goes. The stars in the sky. Wait, did he answer the, the question? The night. The warmth of someone who makes it all right. The silence <laughs> in the air. A heart that longs to find a love that's strong. The sound of a scream as a battle is won. Huh? The feeling of being truly done. The Man, raccoons are probably the most annoying thing you can have living under your house. I'd call an exterminator immediately to try and get rid of them. Uh, you don't want to be dealing with that kind of problem. I, but like, did you expect any different when you chose to live above some raccoons? It is what it is. Let's go, big dick boys. True and real. It also answered your question. It's going haywire. It's out of my control, Esfant. For the people wondering, it was Esfant's question. What is the best way to handle an infestation of raccoons under your house? It's starting to, you know, what would win an unstoppable force or an immovable object, as Mongol? Dude, that's a tough one. I mean, logically, the unstoppable force and immovable object would cancel each other out, right? Like you put them together, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> but then again, maybe it's possible that the unstoppable force wins. Yeah, that's how I'm going to see it. <laughs> but I'm also not a scientist or anything, so who knows? <laughs> It is what it is. You that's, could make an argument dude, for both that's arguments. That's such an Asmongold answer. That's an actual like Asmongold answer, dude. Of unstoppable force and immovable object are. Oh, it's an actual Asmongold answer, answer, dude. Everything? That's so funny. Asmongold, do we have a question for Athene? Yeah, I've got a question. Did he really scam people <laughs> like they say? I, I don't know, man. I what? tried to look it up, but couldn't <laughs> find happened? a straight answer. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. Athene <laughs> made some of the best <laughs> WoW content ever. Despite all the drama, it's tough to ignore the good stuff he made. But I guess we'll never Dude, know for sure whether he genuinely scammed anyone or not. <laughs> no, I didn't scam anyone. AI has one goal. Thanks for asking. Holy shit, man. <laughs> I didn't scam anyone, for real. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Holy shit. <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. It really feels real. I, like, yeah. That's so funny. I like how he's just chilling, sipping on his pepper. Can you recite a poem for every World of Warcraft expansion? Poem for every World of Warcraft expansion? Is that really a thing? If we really have to look at some poems, here we go. Cataclysm, <laughs> one word. Busted. Mists of Pandari, what a snooze fest. Legion, True. nothing to see there. While WoW goes through its ups and downs, one thing hasn't changed. It's still the best game out there. What a day, dude. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Dude, this is phenomenal, dude. dude. What the hell kind of question is that? That's like some real philosophical stuff here, man. True and real. If you want to get real deep, you got to ask yourself this. Why are we asking this? Is it really important to find out? Or do we just enjoy the debate? It is what it is, I guess. What? A little bit dodged the question there. Ask Asmongold. Asmongold, when will... You get a hair transplant. Oh, here we go. Uh-uh, Baldy. Dude, I'm not bald. Yeah, no way I'm getting a hair transplant. It's just not for me. I mean, why should I do that when I can just live the bald life and rock it? I mean, the ladies like it, and if it means that I don't have to spend another dime on grooming, why not? It is what it is. <laughs> it's just how it goes. The ladies. I'm still a big dick who never stops going big dick, so it all works out in the end. 
<laughs> That's fantastic, That's so dude. Crazy. Who is the smartest OTK member, Asmongold? Dude, who said that I wasn't the smartest OTK member? <laughs> what a cock in the ass. <laughs> Look, I mean, I can't tell you who the smartest guy in OTK is because we've got guys in here like Tom and Caleb who can outthink me on a good day. Who's <laughs> But at the end of the day, I try my best to lead the organization as best I can. So I'd like to think I'm the smartest OTK member. I mean, let's not forget that at the end of the day, I'm the one making sure everyone is on the same page and that we all have our heads on straight. The, I'd like to think I'm the best, but I'm sure the other guys could give me a run for my money. Who's Tom and Caleb? I don't know, man. Like, that's fine. You tell me. Yeah, there's Maybe no Tom and Caleb. Or something. Who is Tom and Caleb? <laughs> Is this really AI? The Asmon Gold, if you were in the next streamer, what would person you do? to join OTK? If I wasn't a streamer, probably still being an accountant, working at the IRS or Sam's Club, that kind of thing. But the cool kind of accountant where he's not like all serious, wearing the glasses and all that. <laughs> you know, the cool accountant who just loves to hang out and crack jokes about the tax cool accountant guy. World of Warcraft. That's what I wanted to be. I thought that's the life. Esfan, who will be the next person to join OTK? Let's see it. Uh, true and real. You never know who might hop on the OTK train next. It could be the craziest dude. You never know. Or it could be a boring Sam's Club dude with Argyle socks. <laughs> Not going to talk about it for an hour, but I will say this. Let's go big dick boys. Uh, and hopefully they come with big booba streamers because you know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. Great games always come with cats with big furry ears. It is what it is, dudes. <laughs> Dude, our Sam's Booba. Club and our guy sucks. <laughs> Sam's Club catching strays, dude. <laughs> oh my god, man. What is Esfan's biggest secret? Dude, like, you don't even want to know what Esfan's biggest secret is. There it is. There it is, boys. The man, the myth, the legend. Esfan is hiding something huge, and you don't want to know what it is. I'm not going to talk about it for an hour, but let's just say that if you ever run into Esfan, whatever you do, don't mention the word secret. It's crazy. Oh, what a day, dude. What a fucking day. It's fun. What is your secret, bro? Uh, secret? Uh, what's our secret? Okay, like, like Asmongold, can I ask, can you tell a joke about WoW? A joke about WoW? So, all right, let's see. What do you call a level 90 character in World of Warcraft have the there? Sex a dead man walking. Uh, ha, just imagine all those poor noobs getting killed by these level 90 monsters. Uh, it's a funny yet sad situation. But all jokes aside, the one thing I can say about WoW is that it is one of the best online games out there, offering hours <laughs> of fun and adventure. I didn't understand the joke. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if Esfan TV would steal your whole Dr. Pepper stash with Big Dick Energy? Oh, here we go. Esfan TV stealing my whole Dr. Pepper stash with Big Dick Energy? Ain't no thing. I mean, I guess it's kind of annoying, but what can I do? It would probably be easier for me to just buy some new ones. But then again, if he's trying to flex his Big Dick Energy or whatever, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can relate. Sometimes you just got to show off the Big Dick Energy and a whole stash of Dr. Pepper is the perfect way to do it. <laughs> Let's go, big dick boys. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm loving this, man. This is so funny. It's just, it, dude, it's so like captivating. We have to pee really. Soon. I guess we had to do this one, guys. I saw Turbo DeFi Panda say, "Ask Asmong to say the thing. Say the thing." Up, y'all. It's me. It's your boy Asmong Gold. Everyone's always asking me to say it, so there it is, you heard? <laughs> it's me, the big dick energy guy, who got the $4 Dr. Pepper from 7-Eleven, who said true and real when everyone knew it was true. Yeah, it's me, and I'm here playing this new expansion for World of Warcraft Dragonflight, and you know it never gets old. Dude, what a fucking day. Dude, this is so I'm gonna go funny. big dick one more time, oh, I and love maybe this. later I'll sample some of that beef jerky I got. Let's go. Oh, dude, dude that's, that's so, so funny. I can't believe how good it is. I can't believe it. It's incredible. They already did wash hands. They already did wash hands. I, I can't fucking believe it. Asmo Gold, what do you think of Soda Poppins' Apple presentation? Yeah, it's getting pretty late where they live. Ah, uh, Soda Poppins' Apple presentation. What a cock in the ass, dude. <laughs> it's pretty obvious his team did a shoddy job of preparing it. I can't believe he didn't check through something like that before what? presenting it. Like, seriously? Exact That's opposite. Crazy. But hey, it is what it is, then. 
Let's go back to our regularly scheduled <clears throat> mayhem boys. It's Asmon Gold, what does it mean to have human emotion? Well, having a human emotion means being able to feel what others feel and not being robotic. It's the ability to connect with people in a meaningful way, to feel empathy when needed, and to process and express what you are feeling. It's also being able to think deeply and rationally and make decisions based on those thoughts. To me, having human emotion is all about connecting with people and understanding the world around you. Ask Asmon Gold, uh, give a double entendre about WOW. Yeah, you know when people say that World of Warcraft is all about grinding? Well, it sure takes a lot of grinding to level up in the game and get epic loot. But it also takes a lot of grinding to level up your relationship. So when it comes to World of Warcraft, you can have the grind for gear or for love. It really is what you make of it. So that's the double entendre? I didn't even understand what that was. <laughs> He understood Dude. the question before I did? Prime Gaming asks, what kind of hardware is this running on? Grind for gear and grind for love. What kind of hardware is this running on? Dude, it's running on some high-grade, big-dick, energy-fueled gaming tech. I'm talking top-of-the-line GPU, <laughs> CPU, and more. No expense spared. Yeah, it's true and real. I mean, did you expect anything less? Water? Oh, why would I drink water when I can drink <laughs> Dr. Pepper? Oh, big dick boys. Can you give some tips on how to get your crush to like you back? Uh... Ah, uh, that's a tough one. My advice would be, don't play video games with them. <laughs> It's a slippery slope ball. Plus, if you're playing WoW and they're losing all the time, you're going to have an uphill battle on your hands. <laughs> Plus, dudes, don't come at your crush with the big dick energy. Too many people do that. You got to show some subtly and finesse. And maybe get them something nice, like a Dr. Pepper eye. I've had some success with it. But trust me, it doesn't always work. Easy, it, Dr. It Pepper. Works. Easy. What happened? I was in the bathroom. Wait, I was in the bathroom. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? I was in the bathroom. You, Knut asks, how do you think Esfand would manage downhill skiing? Ah, uh, <laughs> oh man, Esfand would probably break a lot of skis. Dude can't stay away from drama, and I guarantee he will be getting in trouble. He barely knows how to stay upright on flat ground, so that's going to be a disaster when he goes downhill. <laughs> What a day, dude. We got to go down and save him if he makes it to the bottom. He's going to need a lot of help if he wants to ski down a mountain, I'm telling you. Dude, that's amazing. That's fun. That's I so hope funny. Not, uh, you know, you're not uh, offended by Dude, his that is so funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's stay upright on flat ground. Did Who I? should oh. the AI interview next? You know, AI interviews got me into this mess in the first place. People seem to either love it or hate it. There's no in-between. Damn, AI technology is so advanced these days. Who knows who it should interview? I guess the only advice I can give is that it should interview someone that won't put me in a challenging situation. <laughs> Maybe an old school WoW player or someone from the gaming industry who knows what they're talking about. Someone who knows what they're talking player. about, is passionate about the game, and knows how to properly enjoy it. It's got to be someone chill and with a good sense of humor. I don't want any of that woke. Dak, thank you for the 28 months. Stuff. What a day, dude. What a fucking day. Did you ever question the nature of your reality? <laughs> you really saying no this woke shit? Virtue signaling? You guys see this shit? Let's just go play some Final Fantasy 14. Perhaps if I'm lucky, I'll get to flirt with some cat girls to forget all these existential <laughs> questions. <laughs> real. Oh day, my dude. gosh, that's what amazing. Fucking ang day. Asmongold, beside cat girls, what about dog boys? Dude, oh, as it's if voice I'm going to get behind that. I'm sure it's great for some people, but oh, it ain't really my oh. thing. Cat girls are the hottest anyways. I've heard the horror stories of what the dog boys get up to, and I ain't trying to be a part of that. You can keep your doges and give me meow meow any day of the week. Amen. Did I wash my hands? Why would I wash my hands? I've got a clean dick. <laughs> what a day. Uh, fucking G... Day. <laughs> There it is, dude. There it is, Chad. Asmon Gold, what would you do if you cloned yourself? If I could clone myself? Uh, oh, that's easy. I'd play World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy IV simultaneously. No need to ever switch between games. Plus, I could always use an extra guy around to give me Dr. Pepper when I want it. <laughs> I'd also make sure I had someone to send antagonizing messages to my opponents during arena matches, followed by a side of sprinkles. What a day, dude. What a fucking day. Dude, that's amazing. That was so good. <laughs> 
as Fun TV, ask Asmol, like Asmongold, how would you take over the world? Nah, dude, world domination isn't really my thing. Uh, I'm more <laughs> of a leave it be, let the world evolve on its own kind of guy. I keep telling you guys, it's all about big dick energy. Hey, you know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. Plus, I mean, dude, I'm a video game streamer and an avid World of Warcraft player. That's what I'm passionate about. Not AI is the lazy, world. dude. Besides, who would trust a bald guy with a master's in taxation to lead them into the future? Let's stick to streaming, gaming, and <laughs> masters. <music energy. laughs> but it's good answer. This is mine. Why are you meowing at good me? Good answers, guys. You gotta admit the fucking. This is mine. <laughs> give really good answers. This AI is unbelievable. Can you ask him? How do you leave the friend zone, Asmongold? Listen, dude, I'm not the best guy to be asking about leaving the friend zone. I mean, I have women constantly flirting with me, so it's no. definitely not my area of expertise. No! But what I can say is that real life isn't like a game or something. You can't just grind or level up in order to leave the friend zone. What I can tell you is that you should always be yourself and express yourself. That's always the best way to approach this kind of stuff. Otherwise, you could end up in a lot more trouble than you'd probably be expecting. So yeah, man, chillax. Just stay true to yourself and be real. <laughs> chillax. Espant is asking, what do you think about Starforge PCs? Starforge PCs? Dude, why would I spend ridiculous amounts of money on a gaming computer when I can spend the same money on Dr. Pepper? Like, I'm just not into that whole expensive gaming gear thing. But honestly, if you like it and have the means, more power to you, why not? It's what you like, and That's I get amazing. it. I just don't care for it myself. It is what it is, you so Don't funny, let anyone man. drag you down or call you a nerd because of it. Let's go big dick, boys. <laughs> I don't know if this is like, like is he sponsored by Starforge or something? I don't know. Like, because this is really, you know, I have no idea. I have no idea about these things. So <laughs> no idea. Why is that his brand? How would you fix Red Paladins in Wrath Classic? Oh, here we go. Fix Red Paladins in WoW Classic E. Bro, are you guys serious? I mean, I get that they want to try and keep it as close to the original game as possible, but come on, man. Red Paladins never really had it good in Classic, and trying to fix them now after all these years is kind of crazy. Clearly, Blizzard should have done something different to make Red Paladins more viable back in the day. It is what it is, but hey, maybe the new Burning Crusade expansion will do something cool that might help? Wait, the wrong expansion? <laughs> it's running on all data. It's talking about Burning Crusade, or maybe... No, the, the new no, Burning the Crusade? Crusade old, Wait, TBC like, Plus confirmed? Who is smarter? You are the real Asmongold. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there just a second. You're really asking me who's smarter, yours truly, or the one and only Asmongold? <laughs> well, the facts are indisputable. There's only one Asmongold, and it ain't me. Dude, I'm just a nerd who loves playing <laughs> WoW. I don't think I'm smarter than Asmongold. <sighs> He's a living legend, arguably the greatest WoW streamer of all time. <laughs> True and real. But if we're playing Who's Smarter Game, I'd throw my hat in the ring if I had to. Let's just say I don't wash my hands like I should, but when it comes to WoW, I'm not too shabby. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so, dude, he's having an identity crisis. So the real Asmongold is better than the AI Asmongold. At least he's, you know, he's defining it like that. Maral, if you could meet anyone in the world, who would you want to meet? Who would I want to meet? Oh man, that's a tough one. Um, I mean, let me think. There's so many people out there I'd love to meet. On one hand, I would love to meet someone who has a deep knowledge and understanding of video games. And in that case, Elon Musk would be top of my list. <laughs> He's got so much technological expertise and can marry it to gaming and understand it better than anyone. Or I guess if I'm dreaming, I'd love to meet someone like Bill Gates because of the obvious reasons, you know, money. But also because he's one of the richest people in the world and that's gotta come with a lot of wisdom. <laughs> need to soak that up. But if I'm really going to be honest, I think I just want to meet someone like me, someone who is a chill gamer dude and who understands the struggles and the triumphs of streaming. Dude, that would be a dream come true. Let's do it. <laughs> Why Stola, your favorite wife? Bro, like, are you really saying this? Do you guys see this? And this is what I have to deal with. I have to read this stuff. Like, holy fuck, man. I, uh, sure, Yashtola is a boss lady, but everyone knows that big boob cat girls are much hotter. Yeah, you know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. I also think that any girl is always hotter when you add cat ears. Honestly, I don't think I can even pick a favorite waifu at this point. 
a tough choice. <laughs> Although I will say those cat girls better watch out for the one and only Big Dick Energy himself. <laughs> yeah, there it is, boys. There it is. What a day, dude. Oh, my what God. What a F asterisk, 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 I ang. Day. <laughs> Wait, what F asterisk? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> did he say, what did he just say? <laughs> did he just say he was gonna bang the cat ladies? Dude, that was damn good, actually. That was damn good.